What's up, everybody? Um, today I'm gonna be working on port forwarding. Um, pretty much, I'm gonna be working on the AT&T Uverse section of port forwards, cause like there's a whole bunch of different kind of companies, and they're all different. I'm gonna put a link in the description for the website that will like allow you to see a list of a whole bunch of different router types, so you could probably find your router there. Um, anyways, so. To get down to this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the command. Or if you're running Windows 7, it's just going to be right here in the start. And if you're running XP, it's going to go over here somewhere. It's going to say run, or it's going to be an, um, I think it's accessories? Accessories, I mean. Um, it might be an accessories or uh, system tools. I'm not really sure how it works on XP because I haven't used XP in a long, long time. So. Anyways, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to type in CMD and click enter, or you can right click use as uh, administrator, whatever you want to do. Um, another thing is, this is super easy. It's just, the thing that is hard about port forwarding is making sure you have the right router type and the, um, like, I don't really know how to explain it. If you have the right router type and you're not, like, if you don't have the right router type and you try to port forward on that router, then it's just, of course, it's not going to work. That's probably the main problem people have been having with port forwarding. But today I'm gonna be mostly on AT&T Uverse. Um, so yeah. Anyways, back to this. So what you wanna do when you get in the command uh, prompt or whatever you wanna call a console, just type in IP. Oops. IP. Con. Fig. Oh my gosh. My keyboard's messed up. And then click enter, and it'll bring up this list of. Um, information. So, first thing you want to do is you want to type in your default gateway, which is most likely under the wireless LAN adapter, or um, I, I think that's pretty much it. I'll say like wireless LAN uh, adapter, wireless connection uh, one or two, or just connection. So, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your internet, any any um, web browser that you want to use, and then type in your default gateway. So, what my default gateway is is 192.168. Point one point two five four. So, um, when I'm here, the first thing you're gonna do is if you're using AT&T Uverse, it's gonna say two wire, and it's gonna show up all of this kind of stuff, <clears throat> and it looks really confusing to some people. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the website that I have bookmarked somewhere. Minecraft. Um, here it is port forwarding. So this is this is how you do it on AT&T Uverse. I mean, it's out of date as you can see. This looks nothing like um um the AT&T Uverse I'm using now cuz it's updated since then. So you go to router list here and you have all of these router um just a whole bunch of different routers you can use. So basically what you do to find the router is you go to your um, wireless your router of course you go to that router and look on the bottom for, of it and it should say one of these like um, little configuration of words or letters what do you want to call it it's gonna be like that model or that serial number or whatever you want to call it so you're gonna look on the bottom of it and you're gonna see one of these and if you can't find it right off the bat you can just do control F and search for it and then once you find your router I'm just gonna choose a random one because I'm not 100% sure Exactly, which one mine is because I forgot. So, and then you're just gonna like, oh, wait, I'm just gonna do this. And then skip that, and it'll bring you to this page once you find your router. Um, um, actually, no, I'm sorry. You go, oops, I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, router list, I'm just gonna choose this one right here, I guess. I don't know if it works. And then click, when this is skip advertisement, and then <clears throat> right here, it's got all these different games and everything you can use so if you want if you're doing minecraft just do control f and then find minecraft and then it'll bring you to the page that looks like my page but it's gonna be different because you'll have a different router and the screenshots will be different because of course you'll have a different company or whatever or not or you might have your at u verse like i do so <clears throat> the first thing first um what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go up here and click on firewall and then firewall is what allows your connections to enter and exit through your Minecraft or like through your gateways or whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure what exactly what it's called, but like it allows you to allow other people to connect to your IP address. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna click on applications, pinholes, and DMZ. 
I'm not too sure what DMZ stands for. So now that you're here and on this page, you're going to click on your computer name or your whatever IP address. Or if you know your IP address for sure, just click on your, mine's name, mine, PC, Garrett's PC. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, next thing is, this is another problem people might be having. They keep it, they have this checked off where it says maximum protection. You have to click on allow individual applications because if you don't, then it won't allow other people to connect to you. So once you're here, you're going to click on add a new user definition or defined uh, application. So you're going to like, I'm just going to open that in a new tab. <clears throat> and this part is super easy. I'm telling you, this is like uh, probably the easiest step out of the whole entire process. Okay, sorry about that mishap. I was typing in the wrong port like a dumbass. So go down to your name or your computer, whatever you want to do, whatever it's called or whatnot. Go to your IP address. Now click on allow individual applications. If it'll let me allow it. Okay. Now click add a new defined user program. Okay. So now you do um your name, whatever you want to call it. You can call it Minecraft. You can call it whatever you want. So it's two five five six five two five five six five. I was typing in the wrong port. I feel like a dumbass, but I was typing in the wrong port. Okay. There. Now, which second time you're gonna click on UDP and then do the same exact port. See how I did it again? 25565. 25565. And then click add to list. And click, um, once you do that, you click back. <coughs> okay. Now, go to your PC again, or choose your PC or your IP address. So if you know your IP address and it doesn't say your PC. And if it doesn't say your PC name up here, it just says choose one of these. Um, go down to your back to your uh, command thing and look for your IP address and it's going to be the one that's IP address, IPv4 address or just IP address and it's going to be the one that's like this or yours is going to be different of course but that's the one that you can look for up here if it doesn't say your name like mine does so I added Minecraft and then I'm just going to add it over and it says configuration okay so I'm going to click on allow individual and I'm going to click save okay so now, I'm going to go down to my Minecraft folder, I don't know why I named it test, I'm going to open up my Minecraft folder, or Minecraft, uh, and y'all are more than welcome to join um, my server when it's up, I'm not right, it's not really going to be up right now, but it, when, once it is, y'all are more than welcome to join, so click save on this page, so you can save it in configuration save, or successful, okay, sorry about that again, um, okay, so once you have saved this, you go down to save, you save this, now you're going to go over to open port, or to this link, I'm gonna have it in the description, so don't worry. Um, go to uh, you get signal .com, um, and then you have a, a web page that looks just like this. So, um, <clears throat> what you're gonna do? Sometimes this is this will say your port number, and if it does, just say use current IP, and then it'll bring up this IP address, which is the one that you connect to your Minecraft server with. So now you type in two five five six five, and then you click check, and as you can see, my port is open. So now I can um, back out. And I can open up Minecraft and I can join my server. Mojang. Okay, so see, as you can see, I've already added the number of my IP address, and now I can just double click on it and uh, join my server. Oh my god, monster. Why are you in my house? Why are you in my house? Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. So yeah, this is how it works. And um, I hope this helped you guys. Because this is um, probably my first like tutorial like about doing port porting. But anyways. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. And um, I make sure to make more videos like this. And if you need more help, a comment. Um, <clears throat> and I'll definitely get back to you. Get back to you. And if I can't help you... I'm terribly sorry, but more than likely I will be able to, so I don't have to worry about that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe and comment, rate, all that good stuff. So, peace out.